All right, Joseph's house. Finally, something not a junior or, to a lesser extent, Cody's house. But will this be any good, or will it end up like Cody's house and or Cody's sleepover? Guess there's only one way to find out. Wait, wait, wait. What on earth happened? Who turned off the lights? Well, oh, oh, sorry, that was me. Oh, you, you want this on? Um, oh, okay. Wait. Wait, hold on, I can do this. Why isn't it working? Uh, this is not good. Let me see this. Bowser, what did you do? Uh, um, nothing. I just flipped the light off and then kind of stopped working. But hey, you've got the night light. Yeah, a night light, because that's going to help me. The camera won't even focus properly. Well, I, I'm sorry, jeez. Um, what do you want me to do? Go find some light bulbs. <sighs> can you do that? Ugh, fine, I can do that. Jeez. Also, it looks like your camera focused. Yeah, that's good, at least. Go. Fine, jeez. Let me find the door. Idiot. Um. Ooh, I know. All right, now let me just find the switch and... Ah, there we go. Ah. It'll have to do for now. Weird that Ellie keeps these around. I don't get why though, but... I uh, guess it'll have to work for now. Alright, let's continue the review. This video begins with Junior and company not knowing what to do, and then Bowser comes in telling them that they're going to have to go somewhere else because the house is getting bug-bombed. Uh, at least they've got a moderately smart Bowser, unlike this one we have! Uh, uh, hey, I heard that! Well, um, aren't you supposed to be getting light bulbs, hmm? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bowser says that he'll stay because he'll do anything to watch Charlie. And Joseph proposes that they go to his house, and Junior and company decide to do this. When outside his house, Junior and Cody are already a bit concerned by just the exterior of the house, but Joseph says not to worry. Once they finally get inside, the confusing to open door, Joseph offers them flashlights because the power has been cut off. However, we do get a Black Lights Matter joke, so that's cool. And then after Junior comments sarcastically on how nice of a place Joseph has, he shines his light on Joseph's dead mother! Wow. Yeah, turns out she's been, you know, just there since last Halloween. <sighs> Which, that's honestly kind of creepy, if I'm to be honest. Joseph explains all of this to Junior and Cody, and Junior says he'd still smash. Joseph shows them his bed, which is in the corner of his living room. And we see an empty box of Jordans. It's just a box. And we see a poster of LeBron James on the wall, and Joseph is angry at LeBron for some reason. When Junior asks why he didn't take down the poster, Joseph says he just didn't get around to burning it. That's honestly kind of funny. Junior and Cody then begin complaining about how hot it is, and Joseph says that'll give them some tap water. Except there's no tap water because they cut off the water too. Joseph says he'll get some water from under the sink, because that isn't weird at all. And then Junior and Cody see that Joseph has a fish. Or, should I say, had a fish. The fish is kinda dead. They try to tell Joseph, but as they're about to, Joseph accidentally spills some black sludge on the counter. It was supposed to be water, but apparently the pipes became rusted. Joseph then feeds this fish, named Nemo, some Skittles. Uh, um, no wonder it's dead. Oh, and the dirty water, that too. That's probably another reason why it's dead. Jiren asks Joseph what he does for fun, and Joseph says that he likes to sometimes talk to his mom on the couch and play Xbox. This seems like something that makes sense, until Cody brings up the fact that they have no power. Joseph says that he uses his imagination to play the Xbox, and then Cody eventually joins in with this. Jiren tries to imagine playing GTA, but to no avail. After Cody tries to show Jr. how to do things, Jir decides he's hungry. Joseph offers to get pizza, and Cody asks how he's going to afford pizza. Joseph then pulls out some money from his mom's purse, but Cody says that's kind of messed up. 
Joseph decides that because of this, there will be no pizza. And then Jir turns to see his clown car and Cody's trophy from go-karts. Joseph says that he steals a lot, and Junior and Cody are about to grab their things, but then they hear a noise. Speaking of noises... What's going on? Um... Hello? I I'm opening the door! There better not be a jump scare in here! Hello? Um... H hello? Is anybody in here? Oh god! Uh, uh, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Um, hello? Hello? Name Anybody in here? Oh hey, the lights are on, cool. Um, w was anybody in here? Boo. Oh ah, god! Oh, oh, oh god. Little Sonic, I was about to punch you. Heh. <laughs> Cause I'm big and tough and strong. Heh <laughs> heh. Sure. What are you doing? I was wondering what the noise from in here was. I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? Like, the, the banging on the door and all that? Yeah, I've got no idea. What? What? I'm gonna turn the lights on. No, 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 wait, oh, God! Um, where's the light switch? Uh, I, I can't find it. That, that sucks for you, blue dude. Um, what, whatever, I'll find the doorknob and I'll just leave. You have fun with that, blue dude. Ah. Ah, God, I'm all signed. That was, that was creepy. Um, where was I? Oh, right, the noises. So, Joseph thinks that the noises are just some rats, and then we get a hilarious screwball jump scare. I'm sorry, but just every time I see it, I laugh. It's just amazing. They all freak out, and Joseph explains that it's Screwball. Screwball breaks the news to Joseph that Nemo is dead, and then Screwball says he has a date with Joseph's mom trying to get to third base. Then Junior and Cody inquire about what's in another room, and besides some of Screwball's items, there is also Joseph's dead dad, which moves. Junior and Cody freak out when he says this, and Junior proposes to find him. And then in the other room, they're quick to find Joseph's dad, who sounds really creepy. And then Joseph's dad turns into a boo, and Junior and Cody decide that they've had enough and leave. They run past Screwball, who makes another funny joke, and then they grab their items and leave. And that's the video. So, in the end, I really liked this video. This video was unique, had some great ideas, a few clever jokes, and I just love the unsettling atmosphere Joseph's house gives off. The jokes were funny, the plot was pretty good, and again, the unsettling atmosphere sold it for me. For me, there wasn't really a dull moment in the video, which is why I get the 5 out of 5 or color blue range rating. And something else. This video really makes you think. It makes you think about Joseph's character now that you know how he lives. Interesting. Where's Bowser with those light bulbs? Ugh. So, uh, Bowser, where are those light bulbs? Hey, before we do that, can you do me one favor real quick? I think I figured out the problem. Okay, what's that? I need you to go pull a switch over there. What? Just go do it. Um, okay. Alright, switch. Which one? The slightly lower one. Um, uh, okay. Ah, I don't get what that's going to do, but... Alright, I did it. BAM! See? I fixed it! Oh yeah! Go Bowser! He fixed it! He's amazing! Oh, oh! Go Bowser! Oh, oh! Can you shut up? Fine. Wow, uh, good job Bowser. How'd you know that was a problem? Oh, it was quite simple, really. Um, you see, I accidentally, uh, used that switch before I went out. Um, and when I turned the lights off, it kind of activated it. What? Yeah, you, you, you didn't have to do any of this. Blue dude, you okay? Blue dude? Blue dude? Blue dude? Heh <laughs> heh. Blue dude, you okay? Get running. What? I I said get running. Oh, oh okay. okay.
<gasps> That's Slimer! Yeah. No, run. yeah. Yeah. Let's go to him. No! Lady, you Dub, let's run away. Go. Dub, let's go this way. Are you crazy? He's my best customer. <laughs> <laughs>